Juana, why do you think that it's not uh, necessary for the public to know? Because I don't think that's relevant to the job at hand. Uh, you know, I don't think whether you used it or not used it equates to the fact that you can do your job. And, and I understand people are curious, and I can respect that curiosity, but we're also talking about an industry that we're about to regulate that was passed by the voters. So the way I see it is when I was working in the, the field of oxy and heroin, I've never been asked that question. Why am I being asked that question now? Uh, the work that I have to do in front of me is to make sure that this is regulated, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, work with my fellow commissioners. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner, Senator, what's your feeling about the whole, from what you know, what's your feeling about the July 1st deadline? You know, I think it's it's something that we need to really take a look at and work and work very closely to make sure that we can meet our deadlines. Uh, you know, you know as well as I do, this, this bill was passed very quickly after the, the voters approved it. So we need to make sure that we can work diligently. But like the commissioner said, like the chairman said, we need to get up and running. Um, you know, we need to have people in place. We need to be able to do our jobs. And I think that's exactly what we're set up to do. And I'm fortunate to have the commissioners I have with me because we're going to do it in a very open and transparent manner. Is it accurate to say you're shooting for July 1st, but... No guarantees. Yeah, I think we're trying to shoot for all the all the, uh, the deadlines that we have, for all the goals that we have. I think it's really just important for us to be able to get in it and to get to work. Um, you know, as the chairman had said today, we need to get some staff. We need to have some office space, and until we can do that, we're really just functioning um, as we go. And you know, I've been a former staffer, so I have no problem doing my own research and doing work like that. But this is going to be a huge undertaking, and my hope is that you know people are pushing for us to to meet our goals that they understand we were just creating. You know, uh, you know, they said yesterday two of the commissioners were sworn in. So this is just newly created and we're up and running. So that's what we're looking forward to doing. Can you speak to how much work you see ahead of yourself before this actually gets going? So from an whole industry, it's going to be monumental. I mean, you know, take a look at what we have from the gaming commission and trying to drink gaming in Massachusetts. And this is going to be no different, except the fact that we have 351 cities and towns that we have to think of. It's not as if we have, you know, two sets, two towns and two cities and that's all we have to worry about. My hope is that we go out across the state because I think, you know, as the people voted on the ballot and they wanted this, they want to be able to see the work that's being done. I don't want to keep it centric to one part of the state. So we're hoping that with the chairman we'll be able to create a calendar that we'll be able to do that. Commissioner Walmore, as someone who's been sort of a loud voice against addiction <laughs> and issues like that, is it strange for you to be on the side of sort of legalizing something that some consider an addictive drug? No, it's not strange. I think it, for me it's an opportunity to take a look at what the science is and to go forward with that. Um, the work that I've done in the oxy and, and heroin realm is really because because it kind of exploded. We had to take very strong stances very quickly. And knowing that we, what we know about marijuana and working with scientists and working with people in the field, it's going to be interesting to me. It's very different um, because the immediacy is not there as, as it is when you're dealing with heroin and fentanyl. Um, but to me, it's going to be a, a project and it'll be a great opportunity. Senator, you've Thanks. mentioned heroin a couple of times so far. Do you see a connection between marijuana and uh, opioids? No. Thank you. Do you consider marijuana harmless? Um, we'll take a look at the science. I mean, I don't necessarily think, I mean, when you're altering your state, there, you don't know if it's going to be harm 25, 35 years from now, and I think that's what we need to look at. So that'll all be part of this. Do you think alcohol is harmless? I think in some respects to your body, it isn't. But for some who use it responsibly, then, then they're able to do that. And that's why I say this isn't a yes or no type answer. It, you know, it's what substances do to bodies over time, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at, too. Thank you.